So I'm gonna start working on this side of the filtration. So what I'll first do is take those three tanks and drill two inch holes or basically drill at the bottom to fit two inch bulkheads. So I think it's like a three inch hole, but that's what I will do on those three. And then those will have exit points. This one will need a hole drilled at the top, just like that one over there, but you can see. So to rinse this one out, just like I did to those three over there, I didn't move them out of place, so all I did is I took a milk jug and just poured water around the sides and let it run out the bottom. So pretty much like so. You just want to get all the plastic pieces out. Okay, here you can see the three tanks I have. Right now I'll be drilling holes at the bottom of them. When I did get them on Craigslist, they did come with this hole already drilled in the bottom of all three of them. That one's still facing upwards. And they had this quarter, uh, three quarter inch bulkhead sticking through it. So that's too small for my purpose. So what I'm gonna do is drill a bigger hole to fit this two inch bulkhead. So I need to drill a, I have a three inch hole saw which will make the hole a nice size to fit this one in there. Um, and these ones are nice because they have kind of this smoother lip at the top so the stuff can float better when I do drain the tanks. But you can see that is what I'll be doing to install these. So I got the one hole drilled already. To show you how I did this. So basically, because these tanks already came with holes drilled in it, it makes it a little harder for me to use the bigger hole saw because this can't create like a starting point through it and then this makes it harder for these uh, teeth to bite into plastic and it just moves around everywhere. So to make it easier, I'm using a piece of wood that I drilled a hole already with the three inch hole saw and just the best I can. So it works pretty good, pretty well, as long as I hold it pretty sturdy and I'll show you that. And uh, to make it easier, I'm also gonna reverse the threads because instead of you know this biting into the plastic and then moving even more so around, by reversing it, it makes it a smoother cut and allows it to move so slower into the plastic. Alright, so you can see I got that, and after you start it, you can pretty much take the wood away, because you got the groove now where you can have this hole in it, uh, the saw in it, but I'll still reverse the threads because it does make a cleaner cut. So I got that one. After I cut the hole, what I'll do is use my knife and basically smooth it out, get rid of all the pieces that are needed. Okay, I got these three holes drilled. Took a little time, but I'll drill the holes on the side now. So right now I'm going to start drilling the holes on the side of these three tanks, which will be the overflows, or in this one's case, the entrance of the water. But they, this one will have a two inch uh, uni seal, and those two will have inch and a half uni seals. So I'll start with drilling pilot holes and then drill the, the hole. <laughs> So for the other two tanks, I will use an inch and a half uni seal, and the hole saw I'm using is a two and a half inch. So I'll drill two holes. I'm gonna be one hole in this one and one hole in that one using the two and a half. Inch. And there you have it. I got these two holes drilled. I will clean them out with my knife. So just rinse them off, time to put these bulkheads on the bottom. So I'm going to put some bulkheads on this side as well, like I did over there. Since those are too high on that side, I'll put those, the, these ones here on this IBC tote on these two spots instead. And then I'll put again one up there, but that is what I'll do. It's the same method, so I'll drill that and just show you how it looks. So 
this is basically the drain or to connect to here so I can bypass the moving bed biofilter. This is a drain here, this is a shut off the moving bed biofilter. And then we got two radio flow filters and then that one over there to drain them.